nothing. Like, is it okay doing nothing, doing nothing, doing nothing? Yes. Hi guys! Welcome again on my channel, in my bathroom. Is doing nothing okay? Can I be lazy? Is just okay to chill? How about if it lasts three days? Four days? Of course you go to work and do what you have to do, but how about your free time? How about every time you have free time for a month, you're just not in the mood to do anything? Just nothing. You see, tonight is Friday night and I have a two days weekend. I have so many interesting things to do. Projects, photography, art, videos, blog posts. I have my friends here and you know, I could meet up and try new places. But no, I can't. I just can't. Everything will have to wait. Everything is on hold. And it's been the case since a few weeks now. And it's okay. I could cook, exercise, clean, whatever. I just can't. My brain can't. I have nothing to give. Or at least I'm not in the mood to give anything. I just don't want it now. It's still interesting, it's still my life, and I still love my friends, and I'm so excited about all these projects. But it's not the moment. All I want to do is play video games and eat chips. Or even better, just stare at my ceiling, that's it, in my bed. So small disclaimer, I'm not depressed, and I love my life. Oh, and also, I'm not lazy. It could be okay to be lazy too. I believe that it's okay to do nothing for a while. I think it's okay. But I don't think society thinks it's okay. Many of us have extremely stressful lives and it's enough of it. I will allow myself this moment for a few weeks, a few months. How long it will last, I don't know and I don't care. But you know what? It's fine. Because everything will come back after a while, whenever I'll be ready. And I trust myself for that. If it's not now, it's gonna be later. Basically, what I wanted to say is that Doing nothing, being lazy, chill out, is okay, even if it's for a few weeks or a few months. For me, it's an act of self-care. And I also consider that being bored, being in a mood for nothing, is the root of creativity. And I'm not the only one saying that. I see this lazy moment as a way to give your brain enough time to process this enormous amount of you know, information that it collects every day and it's actually an exciting process. Give yourself the trust that your creativity will come back, fuel for achieving things will come back. I guess I can conclude on the different challenges that it involves. What do I do when I can't stop? Lots of people have problems with slowing down. I remember a time of my life where I had always an excuse to not slow down. Seeing friends, cooking something, cleaning something, you know, working on something. So how do you stop actually? Well, you let go of things because your friends and your course and your personal project that are so exciting, well, they will still be here when you come back from that moment. The second challenge is how do you do when you're so deep into this numb and lazy phase? You've been there for months and you don't seem to gain back your motivation. You see right now I'm in a cocoon, a very comfortable phase and I, I don't want to get out of it. I want to stay in it. But it's been a few months and I know that soon I'll have step by step to climb the ladder out of it. How do I get out? Well, I've just said it, step by step, like small achievement by small achievement and slowly gaining confidence and motivation and things just comes back by themselves. So yes, I guess it's the conclusion of the conclusion. Find a balance. Um, your body and your mind deserve these gentle breaks sometimes and you only know when it's time to get out. You have enough intuition. I hope you like this video. Have you ever felt that you were in that situation? You know, maybe feeling guilt because you were in a moment that your brain couldn't function and you just knew that doing nothing was the only possibility. 
or have you ever felt stuck into that very numb moment? Just let me know in the comment down below. Thank you for watching.